Hello friends, how are you? Hope you're well. Welcome to my channel Reads and Eats. I'm Fiona. I hope you're going to enjoy this tag video today. This tag was originally was originated by Secrets Reads. Um, I will leave a link to her channel down below. I saw this being done by Storm from Storm Reads. I will read. I will leave Storm's um, video link down below as well. And I really liked it. So the old school April book tag. So here we go. Here are the questions. Reading rainbows. Question one. What author, what book author or series got you into reading? I can't say there was definitely one. I mean, my parents read to me when I was, when I was like knee high to a grasshopper. I can always remember my mum and dad reading to me. Um, both of them were great at doing different voices for different characters. And... You know, um, I can vividly remember Dad reading me Brer Rabbit and doing the voices. Um, they read Mrs. Pepperpot. Oh, gosh, we read, like, a lot of Beatrix Potter. I believe that Joanna Puddle Duck was my be my favourite. Um, and given, given sort of things that, yeah, I can I can understand why Jemima was my favourite. Um... And then as I got to read myself, or as I was beginning to learn to read myself, Dad would, they would both help me with, um, there's a, a particular series called the Sula series by Lavinia Dermont, set on a Scottish island about a young boy called Magnus. And um, Mum and Dad used to help me read that. Also things like The Secret Seven. And then I'd go on to The Famous Five. Uh, what else was there? There was... St. Clair's, there was Malady Towers. Um, I read things like The Shally School. So I there was no definitive book or author or anything that, that started me off. I just remember reading so much and so varied. I mean, I've got one vivid memory of mum and I baking and we put everything in the oven and we tidied away. And then we cuddled, we cuddled up on, on the sofa and read. She read to me while we're waiting the stuff to bake. So, you know, reading was always part of my life. What author or book got you into your current favourite genre? Oh my goodness. I don't really have, shall we say, a set genre that I love. There, I like so many and there are no, there are no particular authors that got me into that genre. It was just, I guess, the way... I pick things up. So, so particular authors that I love to read: Debbie McComer, um, Rianne Thien, Kathy Rice, Deborah Harkness, Sarah Morgan, um, Emily March, Nora Roberts, James Herriot, um. Clive Cussler. So there are all these authors are in different genres. I'm now sort of dipping my toes more into cozy mysteries. Um, Elizabeth Penny, I love. So there are so many different different authors that I still really enjoy reading, although they're all in different genres. So I can't say I've got a particular favorite genre. Um, I'm quite happy to read. A lot of things. I'm not into horror. I'm not into like scary books. They they don't appeal to me. Um, I do like some fantasy, and I've got a couple of fantasy books to to try out. Um, so I'm kind of dipping my toes into that as well. So yeah, I'm trying to broaden my reading scope, as it were. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where I am with that mixtape. What was the first concert you ever went to? Run rig. Runrig at Queen Margaret University when it was up in Edin when it was in in Edinburgh town. I went with one of my best friends and her sister. Um, they were playing at the QMU um, students union, and oh, brilliant night! It was a fantastic night, and I mean, from then on, I went. I've been to a number of Runrig concerts, and just absolutely loved their music. I still love their music. Um, I've also been to some Michael Ball concerts and really, really enjoyed them as well. What band or artist do you love but never got to see? I don't know that I have. I don't think I have um, 
I'm not a big one for concerts. I never have been. Um, I see, I got to see Running Coach. I was really you know, thrilled about to see them. I think at some point I maybe like to go and see Skippinish or Tidelines, but it's not something I've got to go to go and do. I would love to go and see Alfie Bo and Michael Ball together um, in a show. I think that would be that would be very entertaining and a lot of fun. So maybe for 2024 or 2025, I can think about that. Next section. I always feel like some someone's watching me. What was your favourite cartoon while growing up? Tom and Jerry. I love Tom and Jerry. I don't know why, but I adored Tom and Jerry. Um, I thought they were just so funny. And, you know, it's it's a memory I have of just watching them. The other thing I used to like was that there used to be a show on on a Saturday morning. This was before I ended up doing a lot of things like swimming, hockey, athletics. So my Saturdays were taken up. But when I was kind of a lot younger, the banana splits. I loved the banana splits. Um, I can still sing the banana splits thing theme tune, which is like crazy, but never mind. What name a TV show or movie that is tied to a good memory? Um, All Creatures Great and Small, the BBC adaptation on a Saturday, Sunday night. Mum, Dad, and I sitting on the sofa watching All Creatures Great and Small. Theme tune still is, you know, in my head. I can still see the opening credits if I shut my eyes and sing that and hum that tune. So yeah, um, All Creatures Great and Small. The other TV show that I used to um i used to really enjoy it was fame so yeah so that those were two that i really enjoyed name a movie from childhood that you, that you still love today chariots of fire i remember being taken to see chariots of fire for my 12th birthday and i remember absolutely adoring it i remember crying and even now when i watch that movie there's one part in that movie and I will always I always cry. It doesn't matter how many times I've seen it, but I always cry. I think that has been one of the best movies I've ever, ever seen. I have a copy of it downstairs as a DVD. Um, I may watch it this summer because it's Paris 2024. Chariots of Fire was Paris 1924. So, yeah. So there we go. That's... That was that one. Name your first TV or movie crush. I didn't have any. My sort of first kind of, shall we say, crushes were all on athletes. <laughs> there we go, sports people. Gotta catch them all. What was a toy you were obsessed with or collected as a kid? I didn't collect, uh, I didn't really collect any. I loved Lego. I loved Lego. I loved um, Meccano. Um... I still have one of my Meccano sets up in the loft, um, but I loved playing with Lego, but most of the time, if I'm honest, I was outside. I was either, my dad made me a set of high jump stands, so I was out in the garden doing high jump. I was out in the garden with my shinty stick, um, hitting a shinty ball. Uh, I was out on my bike with my friends. I didn't play a lot with toys um so you know if it was it was like most of the time my nose was stuck in a book if i'm honest i read more than played with toys or games pac-man fever name a board game or video game you associate with your childhood Possibly Monopoly. I think we played Monopoly a few times. We played Scrabble. Um, so yeah, so that was um, that was probably the two that we used. She's got the look. Name a clothing tr clothing or trend that was popular in your kids. <laughs> leg warmers. Everybody wanted leg warmers like the kids from Fame. And... I can remember wearing my leg warmers. Oh, my leg warmers were wonderful, especially when I was training. So I'd wear them over my training tights. So my calves and my my calves and my and my Achilles were always warm. It was great. 
you know, they really were, you know, a great trend, um, very practical for sports people. So, yeah, so that was kind of one of them. The other thing was big baggy sweatshirts. We loved, I loved my big baggy sweatshirts, which were great. Um, so, yeah, so that was kind of um, the clothing or trend that was popular when I was a kid. I want candy. Name a childhood snack of candy Wish you wish were still made. I was not a sweet person. I didn't eat a lot of sweets. I didn't ask my parents for a lot of sweets. I can remember occasionally having like a crunchy bar which honeycomb with uh, chocolate around it. Um, I was a lot happier, you know, eating fruit. Um, no, there was honestly, there wasn't kind of any sweet, I mean, Snack, I would be mum, mum's home cook, mum's baking or dad's baking. It would be things like scones, pancakes, um, you know. But most of the time, even when when I had friends over, it would be like um, fruit. You know, that's what we would get. So that's you know that I was never never a sweet a sweet tooth person. Am I a sweet tooth person now? Sort of, but. I moderate what I have, um, which is fine. So who do I tag? I've now got to tag some people. Who 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 am I going to tag? Um, I would like to tag Beth from Soul Stained Ink. I know she's got a lot going on at the moment. When you get the chance, I would love to hear your 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 answers to this. Rebecca, the colourful book nester. I know she's got a lot of things going on at the moment, is it? But but Rebecca, when you have the when you have a chance, I would love to I would love to hear your answers to this. Um, I don't know if this lady's been tagged yet, but Elizabeth from Lizzie Fayla's books, I would love to hear your answers to this. It would be great. I know that cousin Sonia's already been tagged, so I'm not gonna I won't tag son, cousin cousin Sonia. Um, but anybody else that wants to do this tag, I will leave the questions in the description bar down below. Um, if you don't have a channel or want to answer the questions, please come answer the questions in the comments. I would love to hear your answers. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this tag. It's been fun to do. It's been kind of a little wander around down memory lane. Um, and maybe a way for you guys to kind of know a wee bit more about me. But um, if you get any questions, um, just put them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Until my next video, friends, stay safe. Happy reading. Bye.